ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have been waiting for between Impunity Storm and Turtle Masters. Yes, it is another round of the Haunter Service GLX Cycle 4 and tonight we are well into round number 13 here. So it's pretty interesting to see that as well. Journey tonight is going to be Babel and with me is Lark. What's up guys, it's good to be here. Turtle Masters vs Impunity Storm, very, very strong uh, matchup indeed. I mean, Impunity Storm has been looking really, really good lately. Unfortunately, yesterday they, they actually lost the only game actually uh, that they played um, against Kimuchi uh, TD Esports, and uh, they actually did a pretty good show uh, in that one. Yeah, pretty good troll. Do not, not a good job. Pretty good troll. And uh, that's what we want to say because um, that's what we, we, we like to say because um, yesterday's game, they actually had it under the belt, but the Dr. Repulsor was just too powerful, man. And that being said, I hope that today's game is going to be a clean 2 0 series like I always usually hope because um, that's going to mean a lot of extra changes come from Putin Storm's side. Do know that right now they are tied with RAQ, and that's what that matters because, I mean, in general, you know. Um, it's not about hitting the playoffs, it's not about anything else like that anyway. It's more about who has the ability to make sure that they will go to the qualifiers for the final round of Honto Southeast Asia. And for Imperial Storm to go there, they need to win RAQ, at least in terms of table standings. Yeah, and I think that they, if they are able to win today, like both matches today, as well as their matches tomorrow, I think they are already going to be that much more better in terms of lead against RAQ. So they just need to make sure that they win every single game now leading up to uh, to the match that they have against RAQ and I think that will kind of allow them to actually lose uh, one game or I think even both for the match against RAQ if I'm not mistaken if they win today's games and the, the games tomorrow so uh, hopefully they are able to you know take it towards Turtle Masters I mean Turtle Masters cycle one champions uh, they're a very very strong team hopefully they can do something about that Yep, the good thing is that yesterday RAQ did lose the match already, so they don't have any extra points. And now they are both tied about 19 points, as we mentioned before. And today RAQ will be up against Step Gods, but Imperial Storm will be up against a huge hurdle. And that's going to be Cycle 1 Champions, like you nicely mentioned. Without further ado, let's go into this game here. It seems like some things are already set in stone. We do have the first benefit nice nicely completed. That's going to be the Fate, Tempest, Sandriff, and the Moon Queen. Look at that one there. Tether Masters, Hooky Hook, going to be your captain and drafter. He nicely banned on the Moon Queen. Yeah, he knows that Nox is just a really, really strong hard carry in the Moon Queen. Although he, there were uh, questionable item pickups in like yesterday when he was uh, being more on the aggressive side, didn't buy the Wing Bone rather than he actually bought the Helm, uh, not the Helm, sorry, uh, the Behemoth's Heart, and that didn't really translate to that much more of the push potential. Hopefully this time around, Nox will build a little bit better uh, on whatever carry he's going to be put on. But yeah, I think that even even then his his Moon Queen, I mean, it's very respectable. Like, he always gets a lot of farm, always finds space to farm, and that has to do a lot with the way that the team works as well, uh, as a whole. So, you know, uh, Turtle Masters, they just don't want to have to deal with something so strong in the later stages of this game. Yep, and that's going to be really good. That said, um, the pick's actually going to be set in stone here as well. We've got a Keeper, Engineer, and Pestilence being picked up by Team Legion. Keeper definitely is going to be on Sensation. Engineer, I would believe, would be on Nova, and Pestilence there should be on Emperor. That's pretty good because they got the most of their core heroes already sorted out, except for the carry there. Except for help on side, I'm pretty not sure what the hell's happening here. we got the MOA, we got the Bubbles, that's pretty okay as well. But a Parasite pick up with that. The Parasite looking to just size down on whoever's going to play Jungle Roll coming from Legion side, but Ophelia not banner just yet. Parasite might be too early a pick here. Yeah, it could definitely be too early of a pick. Uh, I'm not even sure why Parasite would be good in this kind of situation. They have a Keeper, and I think that's one of the reasons why they want to have the Parasite, the ability to instantly burst him down with you know, a Codex or you know his Leech and the uh, Face Hug abilities. Uh, but I still think that just going for dual supports would be much more better in, in, a, in a game like this, seeing as to how they have that push potential and early game aggression coming out from like Legion team. They already have Keeper, Engineer, that's a good amount of uh, you know team fight presence, and Pestilence as well is just going to offer that much more, especially if he's able to snowball and uh, you know get that early, early farm. So we're going to see an Emperor Pestilence today. Hopefully he's going to be able to pick up on a lot of farm and do something for his team. Yep, that's gonna be pretty good. So Parasite, we've mentioned before, it's always gonna boil down to the execution and you know going about ganking. That's gonna be the name of the game coming from the Parasite. We've seen Beston play this before very successfully, and I really like that. Um, a lot of players who play the Parasite forgot about the fact that they need to roam, and you always just farm and farm, and that's not gonna help your team because once it hits the mid stages, if your team cannot hold a four versus five kind of situation, it would definitely be got be done. And with the extra effect of a Parasite, it's not big enough to snowball the effect backwards. So that's not good for from a Parasite. 
That's it. The second phase is nicely completed. We've got a scout, dark lady, pebbles, corrupted disciple, bushwhack, and then pure nicely addressed there. It's interesting to see that Nova doesn't want to play against the pebbles and the bushwhack. Scout pretty questionable, but I would say that Iron Nan plays a pretty good scout as well. So it's still on the ball, you know, acceptable and all. That being said, hooky hook there. After the Moon Queen's going to be the dark lady, followed by the corrupted disciple and then MPO, all of which are targeted at Nox. Nox not going to be happy this game. I hope that he will not take the risky approach of going for a separate Blood Hunter again. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Blood Hunter will not help at all in this game. Uh, and I think that the Hellburn team, they, they know. They know the power of Nox. They know how they are very wary and they're very afraid of his uh, carry potential. And that's the only reason why they kind of banned out all the carries. Sorry. <laughs> Just actually yawn. Uh, what? <laughs> Uh, you know, just uh, destroying all the, I mean, banning out all the carry options for Nox, and I still think there's a lot of heroes that Nox can rely on in terms of that carry. Um, Hag is still, of course, on the board, and Hag Keeper is just so good. I'm not sure why that hasn't been, you know, picked yet. It's just such a good combination to have. They already have that uh, Glacier, so it's going to be a dual support NG, NG Glacier's lane. Not, sorry, not lane, uh, dual support. You're gonna probably have the Pestilence and she made Glacius helping whoever is the carry gonna be coming out from Legion Team. And I would definitely like to see the, the uh, Wretched Hag. Uh, a cause of concern for that Hag is the fact that, you know, the hero itself won't be as useful against the Hellborn lineup because his ability to just, what do you call this, um, to just blink around and all this uh, kind of jazz with his inbuilt, you know, Flash of Darkness, it will kind of be shut down from the current heroes from Hellborn team. It will be, and that is actually not looking to be very good coming out from Team Legion side. And, you know, Lodestone definitely loved the hero. It's been a really long time since we saw Transformers in the street there. And Lodestone would like to see how he's going to roll on this one. With Shadow Stump, definitely he's going to provide extra AoE. But other than Lodestone, there is no one from the help on side that's got AoE. So I would definitely would love to see them pick up the Wretched Hack. And right now, Nova's going to be thinking about this a little bit too much. And it's going to go with the Gemini pick. Gemini on Nox. Wow. Never really seen this before. I... Can't say mm -hmm. for sure. Do you recall seeing Gemini on Nox before? Uh, I've never seen him being, uh, I mean, not being, uh, playing the Gemini. I think it's kind of interesting, but with the current lineups, I don't know. It, it, he's going to need a lot of uh, space at the bottom lane and a lot of farm if he wants to be able to actually pull off something in this later stage of this game. Uh, it, it is a pretty damn hard carry, don't get me wrong. Nox, uh, I mean not Nox, uh, Gemini, he, well, as soon as he hits that level 6 ability, he can actually, uh, you know, burst down someone really, really, really quickly with the Fire and Ice, you know, splitting up and then using the abilities there on top of Twin Breath and Twin Fang. What the hell just happened here? It's not going to be a Wretched Hag. Wow, Wretched Hag do not, wasn't banned out, but they are going to pick the Puppet Master anyway. We all love the Puppet Master because um, we all know about the increased uh, damage from Whiplash. It does increase itself by 0.5 times, increasing to just 1 point, from 1.75 times to 2.25 times, and that is quite a lot. And also the fact that it now grants a uh, passive critical strike every fourth attack instead of the fifth one. And that's going to deal a lot of extra damage coming from the Puppet Master, and it's interesting to see that they don't want to opt for something a little bit more AoE intensive, and that should be okay. But going to big team fights, man, how are they gonna size it up against Team Legion? That's my question. Yeah, I mean, uh, like the thing is, Hellburn's lineup is there's a lot of lockdown because there's you know that uh, bubbles, lodestone, you have the puppeteer's hold, and even the puppet show coming from Puppet Master, uh, you know. Par uh, not Paramancer, Parasite can actually box out one of the heroes coming out from this Legion team really, really, really easily. Something like Engineer, even the Glacius, because of this, you know, pure burst potential. Uh, Lodestone, of course, is going to be very, very good uh, in the sense that he's going to offer the team a lot of ability to just uh, do a lot of damage. I think that uh, Puppet Master does kind of slightly tie in well with their current, uh, you know, lineup because uh, he's going to do a lot of damage and there's a lot of roam potential coming from bubbles as well as the master arms and parasite Yep, and hold that thought right now because uh, we have to introduce this players as well as team from the Legion side. It's gonna be Impunity Storm there, and from Thailand as well, Nova gonna be the captain and drafter. That will be the engineer. Glacier's been cleared by Bass Storm, Gemini on Nox, Pestilence been cleared by Amprelas, but now it's V and Sensation and to the Keeper of the Forest. That's pretty good there. And from the Hellbound side, it seems like we also have pretty interesting situation. That's gonna be Turbo Master, Cycle 1 champions, now looking very well into the playoffs for Cycle 4. They are um, the captain there, or rather not captain, the drafter is gonna be Hooky Hook, and that would be the Parasite. Look like Liv gonna be playing as the Lodestone. Previously, he would be playing as the Engineer, but this game doesn't have the ability to pick that one there. A little bit sad to see that as well. Mei Yi gonna be your interesting MOA. 
Bubbles being played by Xyne Z, that's gonna be really good. And last but not least, we've got Iron Nan, really miss this guy, and he's gonna be your Puppet Master. Yeah, Puppet Master, Iron Nan, uh, I'm very curious to see how well he's gonna do in this uh, kind of role. He is gonna be, uh, you know, supported by this uh, Master of Arms, Parasite. So they're gonna leave bubbles in the mid lane. They want, yeah. It's, it's not gonna be an off lane bubbles. They're actually gonna send bubbles towards mid, and it's gonna be look like leave playing the off lane lodestone kind of. Because I, if I'm not mistaken, okay, no, never mind. Forget that. I, I completely forgot. But XNZ is like the mid player, so uh, I'm not sure if he's gonna have the same kind of performance that Kiddo does whenever he plays that mid lane bubbles. But uh, it's gonna be interesting to see. Yep, that's gonna be really good. That's it from the bottom lane. It's gonna be Gemini as well as the usual support. That's gonna be best time against our good friend. Look like Liv. Look like Liv gonna play suicide in this kind of situation. But Lowstone does have the extra survivability from Rocket Roll. I'd like to see him use it, put it to good use, and make sure that he's gonna be safe. But so far, trading blows for blows against the Gemini. Gonna be a little bit questionable, but uh, definitely Nox looking to make a statement here to make sure that he stay away from his lane. Yeah, and mid lane already, you can see that. It's the Engineer Pestilence gonna go straight up against Bubbles. I think there is ability to kind of kill him if he does, you know, get a little bit too cocky and be out in the front too much or spamming out the Shell Surf. He's actually being very protective, as you can see right now. He actually goes for uh, the first level to take cover rather than the Shell Surf, which he does finally get now, by the way, because he hits level 2. So, uh, he, I think, definitely look towards him playing very, very passively. He's actually focusing a little bit more on Harass as compared to Farm, which I think is... It's it's kind of okay because uh, in a way it does kind of box out like the pestilence from actually picking up on some farm and if he overextends he can actually pick up a kill but still nevertheless he's not gonna get any support and look at the bottom uh, river though. Yep, add it right there. It seems like the cat is not gonna connect. Nice rocket jewel coming from look like Leaf. He does know what the hell he's doing there. Great estimation as usual, but the rune hasn't been spied, hasn't spawned just yet. Still about one minute forty seconds into it, waiting for it to just quickly come up here. But Lodestone taking a little bit extra beating from the glaciers as well as the pool camp. It's interesting that he pulled the Legion members all the way here and waiting for the spawn. He did miss his timer there, so it's gonna take extra beating from the crypts, and that's not gonna be ideal for him, but he doesn't want to lose this wave here. So I mean Best time is doing a really good job. Even Ice Imprisonment gonna be forced out here just to make sure that he doesn't have the ability to farm these creeps here. And there goes Lodestone, man. His creeps gonna be nicely harassed by the tier 2. That's gonna mean he doesn't have the ability to farm this as well as he would like to. Yeah, and he's gonna be forced to pop that health potion, I do believe. Yep, there you go. And that means his region is just down to just one of those trees. And the Nox is gonna have such a good time at the bottom lane. Already level 3, sitting at almost 3 trickle per minute. Actually, just reaches it over there. And he should have no issue at all at this bottom, like, especially against this uh, Lodestone, who is still only level 2. And not picking up on much farm as compared to uh, Nox. Yep, that's gonna be the case, and that's really sad to see. I mean, so far in, look at the mid lane, it, it does seem like Bubbles is up against uh, Pestilence as well as Engineer. And Bubbles, only level 3, not. The most successful bubbles, I like to say that. Yeah, I, I mean, the thing is, like, you shouldn't, uh, like, in, in this kind of situation, bubbles, yes, he's gonna get level. Hopefully, he gets to level 6 really, 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 really quickly so he can start ganking around because just staying in the middle lane and trying to deny pestilence and engineer some farm is not as, uh, as good, in my opinion. Yep, and that's gonna be the case here. So far, three minutes in, no kills just yet. Blood last still up for grabs, depending on who's gonna get that one. Meanwhile, top lane VN doing a pretty good job so far. Level two already with about 94 gold per minute. That's pretty bad, but the fact that it's already level two is somehow a little bit of a slight comfort for all of us. Yeah, and the uh, yeah, bottom lane, I don't know, man. Lowstone, he they actually need a lot coming up from this Lowstone. Here comes Glaciers though. Middle lane. Yeah, mid lane. It seems like something's gonna happen here. Bubble's gonna use the shelter, but it is not in the correct direction and will not pick up the kill there on Pesty. Emperor is gonna be fine, and that could be an, a really big bug, by the way. Yeah, and that was just because of the support coming from Parasite, just trying to set up a gank, although not gonna be able to do anything. And it seems like, okay, we haven't talked much about the top lane, but yeah, Keeper, he's just. Uh, I wanna take a quick look at this. There's only 6 and 0. Oh. 22 and 4 uh, to 4 for a Paris, uh, not Parasite, for a Puppet Master, and that's really, really good for him because um, he's just boxing on Keeper. Keeper is a huge part of the success from Legion team as well because as soon as he gets that Keeper's root, there's a lot of things that they can, uh, you know, uh, do after that because you, you, you lock down the heroes coming from Hellbrand team, they can't do much. They can at least, uh, you know, use the spells, but in this kind of situation, I think that uh, Keeper will be very, very uh, important uh, towards how this game is going to progress. 
Yeah, but that's gonna be the case that say so far the mid lane again bubbles a little bit of trouble here but there goes the impale and even the cat's gonna connect quickly xyz a little bit of trouble there but here comes the moa and moa is gonna make sure that they may be able to pick up this kill on pasty but pasty is just so close to running away and even the turret is just nicely gonna come out there that's gonna help him a lot but nova a little bit of trouble in his own shoes there he should be okay in general, there is still no shell surf coming from the bubbles yet. Bubbles now has good shell surf, but they are already behind the tier one. Should be okay, if you ask me. Yeah, and actually, I missed CS over there by Emperor. Kind of questionable, but uh, yeah, uh, at least they don't give up any kills. The the game is actually relatively very very uh, passive, in my opinion. Uh, maybe not so much so on the bottom lane. Just really well placed uh, lodestone. You know, getting out of there and, you know, Lodestone being Lodestone, he can always just get out really, really quickly with the Rocket Drill. Although Glacius is such a good counter against him because of the ability to just lock down his uh, Lodestone secondary ability to, you know, port away with that uh, drill, so yeah. Yep, that's gonna be the case so far at the bottom lane. Some of Bastom is just dancing there behind the trees. He is gonna be okay. I mean, so far, level 2 already doesn't need much fun playing as a um, secondary support in this game. He definitely is just looking to box out his lane just to make sure that Nox gets good farm. And Nox is just nicely milking it. Already 360 GPM. That is what a awesome support should be doing for the carry. Yeah, very, very good. I mean, like 360 steam boots completed already. You see middle lane actually, uh, Engineer. I'm not sure if he's gonna get out of this lane or is he gonna continue staying here, but Bubbles is already level 6, so I would like to see him actually go around and just set up a gank. I think he's probably gonna wait for his... Oh, Top lane, keeper. be in a lot of trouble there. Here comes the Bubbles, and the kill may actually be happening here. That goes... It's gonna be the Bloodlust, man. And really, Team Turtlemasters will have that one nicely um, ba ba back then, and uh, XNZ will have the kill as well. So that's gonna help Bubbles in the mid lane, and that's gonna be the Spiral hands for because that's a mid lane Bubbles, already level 6 against a level 4 pasty. Yeah, plus uh, the fact that he got a Bloodlust, he th I think he just purchased his boots and something else on top of that. Maybe even a completed uh, uh, Amulet of Exile, maybe, okay, maybe not. He just purchased the boots and uh, a Homecoming Stone, I do believe, as well as a Mana Potion. So he just wants to make sure that he has that uh, ability to regen. Uh, does he have Bottle? I, I didn't really get a good look at that. Yep, uh, it's pretty questionable that being said, but I don't believe he has got a ball just yet. And in this kind of situation, oh, and one about 1k goal lead for Hellborn. Term I mean, Terramas is doing pretty well so far, and Imperial Storm will have a lot of cause for concern. Yep, uh, a bubble. Okay, yeah, Bubbles does have the bottle. It, it was just sent to base by Master Prime. So, um, yeah, uh, Emperor just cannot find any space to actually pick up on some farm. Level 7 bubbles right there. It's really, really good. I think he can stay in this lane. Probably rotate around once his cup field is off cooldown, which is going to be really, really uh, soon. The master of arms and uh, master the engineer and Pestilence lane so far, it's not really bringing as much success because uh, they're not getting the upper hand. They actually gave up the first, but they're not able to rotate because of that. Uh, Bubbles is getting very, very far ahead. Could probably even try and stay to another lane if he wants to. Uh, as for, but the thing is, at the other side of it, oh, middle lane. Mid lane, a little bit of engagement happening there. A little bit sad to see that we will not be able to cover that. But look at that app. It's gonna be both kills going to Team Hellborn. Nova and Emperor gonna take the fall there. To the Masters again. O and 3 so far. 2.5k goal lead. Looking to be really good into this game here. And Imperial Storm Man is somewhat a little bit of a struggling small baby steps here in the mid lane against level 7 bubbles. We don't want to give XNZ this extra space because he is just gonna be so strong into the mid stage of this game. Yep, and Keeper of the Forest, by the way, was busy doing the Ancients because, uh, you know, he's just. Getting boxed out of lane way too much at the top lane. You see even Lodestone coming here. The the Warlock, that's really funny. Uh, Hoki Hoki on the Parasite just doing a lot of work. They're gonna get tier 1 by the way. That's good for them. They lose two heroes and... Not lose, sorry. They gain two hero kills in the middle lane. Imperial Storm is just not in, looking in a good spot at all uh, right now. Yep, and it's looking to be pretty questionable so far. Top tier 1 already addressed me. A little bit of a damage there, but bottom lane should be okay. And Gemini is going to be the only beacon of hope coming off from Team Legion because he's standing about 390 GPM and the mid lane Emperor doesn't even have farm. That's, uh, if you look at his CS, it's only about 24 is to 6 and it's not good going into this game as a pestilence. He definitely needs a portal key that he is nowhere close to accomplishing. He only has got the ball nicely in his bank. Doesn't even have the boots yet. That's just how bad it is. Yeah, he, he he's just, like a Legion team, they're getting not enough of the snowball advantage and a lot of the heroes require that. The good thing is that Gemini should be able to open up space for this Pestilence uh, if he wants to, if he starts, you know, getting very, very active at the early start. But I think as a Gemini, even though you have that good early farm, you want to kind of propel yourself a little bit more because you need, you actually need items to be a lot more effective uh, as a Gemini. Yep, you do, and that said, um, with Gemini now looking at an Energizer already, should be going for next item really soon. I would definitely love to see something a little bit more uh, 
a little bit more sustainable on this Gemini. Maybe into the Null Stone, or, you know, can even up for a Dawnbringer. That's going to be a pretty good item on a Gemini. Yeah, Gemini Dawnbringer is... Well, oh. look at this, man. Per second to say hi to Pestilence and Emperor will actually just uh, let us stand. That's about it. But it's going to be a triple stack camp here. And not looking to be good because, uh, well, Parasite just stole one Skeleton King away. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to do anything about that though. Because uh, even if they try to commit to that, that's a little bit way too behind enemy lines. Uh, Engineer needs to be careful because there's that, you know, King Leoric, like you always say. There's a hasted Bubbles, by the way. I think he's... Yeah, here we go. Yep, it's uh, a little bit sad to see that as well, but uh, Pasty is going to be fine. And we will land a stun on PM. PM is going to land a nice little extra help here from the Puppet Show or maybe Puppet So There goes the hole. Is that going to be a show? No show today. That's going to be sad because Impel going to come out quickly. And it's going to be questionable because here comes the Parasite from behind. And it's going to land a nice silence on Pestilence. And I have no idea what Emperor is doing there. But that being said, VN is not even safe. He's mate there. And it's going to be pretty sad to see as well. And... So far, 0 and 4, man. 4K Goldie, Eternal Masters just nicely in a comfortable spot. Yeah, very, very confusing as to what Amp was doing. He actually stopped over there. I think he was waiting for Vian's decision to come over and, you know, conceal him with that uh, Nature's Bell, but it wasn't, you know, close enough anywhere. Uh, I mean, not anywhere close enough to him, and uh, Emperor just kind of stood in place for a really, really long time, even though after throwing out that Gore stun, not the Gore stun, sorry, the Impale stun, and, um,. Just unfortunate that happened again. There is now a... I think it is... What is it called? I think it's going to be a... A firebrand that's going to be in the works for Geomancer as he does pick up that quick... Not Geomancer, sorry. Um, Gemini as he does pick up the... Uh, what do you call it? Quick Blade. So it's going to be very, very good for him. Glacier is level 5 already, by the way. So mm -hmm. hopefully he's able to get that level 6 soon. Not sure if he's going to opt to go for that ultimate or a little bit more into the spells themselves for the burst damage. We're just going to have to wait and see. Man, Emperor is again not doing good in this game, man. We just need him to provide so much more of an extra presence in this game because he is ultimately playing as a important role in the mid lane, man. And that's going to be the main source of ganks into the mid stages of this game. But looking at that, he doesn't even have his team boost just yet. I would definitely love to see if he can put out a little bit of a quick portal key, though. Yeah, a portal key would be a good option for him, but it's, uh, it's still a little bit too far away from that. Bubbles is just doing such a good job, man. Uh, just constantly harassing Pestilence. Look at the level advantage, man. Level 9 against that level 6 Pestilence. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that Engineer was in the mid lane with him, so he did. He actually lost out on a bit of EXP. Yep, and Bubbles already level 9. That's going to match the level of Nox already. Also level 9, and that's a Gemini for you. Dan, don't forget that you also have got a Papa Master on the help on side already level 10, and that's going to be really bad for Team Legion. But that being said, MOA now is completely invisible to Team Legion. He, he is in the Legion jungle, just nicely spotting out the members here and asking for a little bit of extra backup. And here comes Bubbles from behind. They need to be really careful because they want to pick up a kill there, but there goes the one of Ravi. It may actually help pick up a kill there on the MOA. MOA a lot of trouble. MOA may actually go down, but Nova takes the fall first. And here comes the Parasite. Now Nox should not go down here, but it's Tando is going to connect and that's going to be it and here comes Emperor a little bit too late to join the party but better late than never it's only a question as to what he can really do right now and even Vian's going to join his group here and Shadowstorm is going to be challenged quickly Emperor is going to take the fall and Vian you should just bail out of here right now because there is nothing to do to say best time but Nox comes back and that's really questionable as to why the hell the wolf is there and down goes Root as well Root's not going to help them but just making sure that Nox at least will be able to escape that's still going to be fair, a little bit fair for Team Legion to say 1 is to 8 man what a big misplay from Team Legion yeah, really, really big misplay over there. Um, Hellborn team just really played that very, very nicely. And Emperor was kind of like confused again. Like, uh, what should I do in this kind of situation? He just ran around, didn't even use a single spell. So kind of unfortunate. The stack camps is going to be taken right now by this um, uh, Parasite. Parasite is just doing such a very, very good job. He's even sitting at 1.4k, well, 1.5k gold actually now. Mm -hmm. And he can probably translate. Here we go though. Speaking about Parasite, now gonna be turning into Ice Statue there. In a lot of trouble, it's gonna be head slammed on by the Vienna Incision Forest there. So a little bit sad to see that. Nice smack to the face, and down goes the Parasite. And I mean, Nox already with one death and about 370 GPM only. A little bit questionable as to what he can really achieve so far. And. I mean, Puppet Master is just looking so good, 400 GPM, and you have to somehow, somewhat stop the Puppet Master, man. Yeah, Puppet Master did a lot of damage, by the way, in the previous engagement because of that Assassin shot. Just go, uh, you know, using it, Ooh, going out. Mid lane, pass the little trouble, here comes the Bubbles looking for the kill, and pass the Emperor, he needs a little bit of backup, but where is the backup there? The miss there from the PM, a little bit unfortunate to see that, and the Kelpin not gonna secure the kill, but MOA is just gonna nicely brush by, and there it goes, man, Pestilence is gonna be fine. In general, that's really good play there, he did stop behind the trees before the Kelpin hit him there, so that's gonna be really good, and lucky, lucky miss coming out from the Puppet Master for Emperor. 
Yeah, Emperor Man just leaving on the edge of his seat. He doesn't even have his steam boots completed yet. It's just cannot find the space to farm. There is a ring of sorcery that is completed on Keeper right now. And Keeper can probably tra translate around and start pushing down a couple of other lanes. Regen re regeneration rune uh, up in bubbles. Uh, uh, what do you call this bottle right there? So he's gonna have the ability to stay in lane that much for longer. Glacius is doing a good job of you know utilizing the lane, and uh, they need that to happen right now because uh, Glacius most probably can translate a little bit more better as compared to Master of Arms in terms of that supportish role. But I think I definitely would like to see a engineer with you know something like a portal key, push book, and all that kind of stuff. Yep, it's gonna be really bad to see that as well. That makes it 15 minutes in here, 2 is late, help on team, pretty good spot so far. Shadow Masters need to make sure that they secure this lead going to the mid stage and that's gonna be what they want to do there. Um, Papa Master ready with the Assassin Shroud, that's gonna help him a lot in terms of survivability as well as the fact that uh, he can now roam around and gank with the rest of his team very effectively. But there is a Pestilence and Pestilence does have, you know, the Swarm and Swarm does nicely spot out Invisible Hero. So in general, that may not be a very effective item into this game, but I do believe that the main reason why they drafted that is gonna be really good. But hold that up because Millen! Again, wow, addressing the swamp straight up, it's gonna be PM. Pretty good stuff coming from Puppet Master, and that's gonna mean that Puppet Master now is about 2 0 and 1, and Emperor Man 0 4 and 0. 151 gold per minute only. Yeah, that's uh, man, it's just looking very, very grim for uh, Impunity Storm right now. Everyone is just so far behind. Nox is the only one that's like 1 1 and 0, as well as VN Sensation, but the thing is, like. Nox has 400 gold per minute, so he's doing something at least, and he's utilizing those dogs. Like he's sending one to farm, the other to you know purchase items. I think he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna combine himself right here. Gonna get full uh, HP and mana and everything else. Firebrand on top of himself already, but I don't think it's really gonna help as much against this uh, Hellborn lineup. Yep, and that's gonna be pretty interesting as well. And two is to nine so far, AK gold lead already, and it's just gonna snowball forward, and that's gonna be really scary. I mean, Lostone not a portal key just yet, but pretty good items there so far, and I would definitely love to expect a lot more coming from his Lostone. Really, Andrew gold in the bank, maybe actually looking at a portal key real soon. He does have the Mystic Vestment, that's gonna help him a lot as well. Whereas for the rest of Team Hellbond, no one else actually has got a Mystic Vestment. That's pretty exciting. But look at Parasite Man already with a Codex and a Striders at that, so that's pretty interesting as well. And Codex, if I'm not wrong, just only one, but it is still gonna deal an insane amount of 400 damage burst. And that's gonna help him a lot. Now I know the Genic Venom doesn't really work with items, but at least it is gonna provide a little bit extra edge going to the mid stage here. And it's not as if they don't need the edge, uh, even though they're in the lead so far, because uh, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Meanwhile, bottom lane, lost a little bit of trouble there. May actually go down, and yes, it will be possible because of a lot of extra help from Glacius, the Glacier downpour, doing a lot of magic there. As well as they fire an ice, man. Two wolves can buy better than one. Yep, and Keeper is actually going to be spotted up with Bubbles. Bubbles has that portal key already. They are most probably going to get this tier 1 tower at the bottom lane, no issue. The fort even going to be used. Uh, Glacius doesn't have mana though, so this could be da very dangerous. Here, we here go. comes the Bubbles at the bottom lane. Kepha is going to be used. Nice time is going to land on Nocturne, there, but Glacier in a lot of trouble. Glacius is going to be the sacrifice here. It's going to be okay because Legion will at least get a tower. Nox, it's just nice that he is safe. That's all that he needs to make sure he is safe and he's okay. We're getting good farm, 400 GPM, that's going to be okay. Pretty alright. But problem is Puppet Master hasn't been dressed. 2 0 and 1. He needs to die today. But the sick old Puppet is just mauling and grinning at you, man. This is just really scary. Chucky, you know, Chucky? <laughs> yeah, Chucky. I mean, uh, he has uncontested farm. He's just been doing what his own kind of thing. It, it feels like he's in, in his own little world, playing an RPG kind of game. Uh, middle lane, he's gonna pick up the kill on Pestilence, by the way. Pesty again is gonna take the fall. Wow, even before we can switch the screen there, Arunan is gonna be able to pick up the kill. And that is just an insane crit. That 370 damage, as you can see for yourselves, it's really mad. And I mean, PM and doing so good in this game. It's just showing us again that Puppet Master is a viable carry. Yep, and the uh, main reason to that success was that, uh, you know, his two disables, they're both already level 4. That's a huge amount of lockdown on top of the fact that he used Guru Puppet. Did a lot of auto attack damage because of Whiplash. Like, he, it's such a good hero in, in that kind of sense because Puppet Master offers a kind of stun, you could say, when he gets hit by, you know, the Puppet Show. Uh, and then, you know, Puppeteer's hole just puts you in that put really, really bad position for quite some time. Top even lane, VN a lot of trouble, VN now gonna be silenced, and even Rocker just gonna be used, that's gonna be a date keeper for you there, you really sad to see that as well. Wow, so far, a lot of gank come from the help on side, love to see that, and even Parasite gonna be used here, it's good to see a Parasite that's ganking like I mentioned before. Yeah, and hopefully... Mm -hmm. Sorry, because um, they look sad to want to go bottom to pick up the kill on Gemini, but Gemini will be able to back away. Yeah, Gemini, he, he needs to be able to pick up on some items soon. I think even just going for... Like, usually, 
you don't see a Gemini get a shrunken head right off the bat because you know his ability to split up into the dogs. But I think in this kind of situation, he still needs it so that he can stay in a team fight for long enough. I'm not sure if that's the item gonna be bubbles. bubbles though. Jumping on engineer right now. The kill feel already oh, used, and there goes the shelter. Star. Bubbles is gonna be able to pick up the kill by himself, and Nova a lot of trouble there. It is actually only level seven with um, nowhere close to pretty good stuff, and only a red marcher. So he definitely needs to take a lot of extra item to make sure that he can provide a little bit extra help there. Even the puzzle key is gonna help him a lot, but that is just gonna look like a Ferrari to him right now. <laughs> a Ferrari. Yeah. Um. Paris say. Uh, Codex level 2, man. I think he's going to go for that Codex level 3 soon as well. Uh, Lodestone is able to farm here at the top lane. I think he's going to pick up his portal key next because he already has 2k in the bank. Unless he's deciding to go for a straight up uh, Helm of the Black Nation, which I think is not as necessary. They should have him with a portal key so that he can, you know, jump in with the initiation coming up from Bubbles. As soon as Bubbles locks him down, it's going to be very, very helpful. There is an invis with Wild Hunter right now, and that's a parasite there, but there is no hero at the bottom vicinity from Nation team. Yep, there is no here. Now examining now CS, we're just looking at 165 creep kill and 39 creep deny and Puppet Master not too shabby by himself, 148 there. It's pretty obvious as to why the GPM for Puppet Master is slightly uh, uh, above that of uh, Nox. But that being said, Melee and Libby extra engagement happening here and Pestilence a lot of trouble again but it seems like Keeper is going to be able to make sure that he is going to be okay as well. Flight going to be used and that means that Pesty will be able to just nicely fly away. Puppet Master going to pop the Shroud though and it seems like he is looking for a kill here onto Pestilence and this is going to be really bad because if he is just next to him and pops the Voodoo Puppet plus a nice little slap to the face it is going to deal a lot of damage. Do not Puppet Master now creeps for about 400 damage and it's probably going to be used on a Parasite Parasite though it's not affected by that and it seems like the kill is going on as scheduled on Emperor again and Emperor now 06 and 0 it doesn't need to be there actually. Yeah, I mean, this Hellbound team right now, they have all the items that they need. There's the portal key up on Lodestone, portal key up on Bubbles, Bubbles with 2k in the bank somewhere. He can even go for a Culture Sheep Stick as the next item. Like, everything's working in favor of Turtle Masters now. This is 11k gold and 12, almost 13k EXP advantage. And I don't know, Impunity Storm is just not looking as strong as uh, I'd like them to be. Double damage right away out up on Puppet Master. Yup, and that's gonna be really good for him. Um, he does already have the Shrunken Head, I do believe, to mention. Uh, who? Oh, double oh. damage, okay. Yeah, double that's damage, okay, yeah. He's looking for a Shrunken Head, that's why, man. Um, he does have the Mighty Blade already and his infantry. He should be looking at Shrunken Head really soon. That being said, Kek's not gonna connect as well. There is a Swarm being used on Hell Cannon, and that's gonna spot him a little bit there, but it's not gonna be really effective because if Parasite sheds the shell there, there, there you go, he is not gonna be affected by the Swarm. And that is uh, a little bit of a waste of skill to ask me, but that being said, at the bottom lane, though, here comes the Bubbles with the Capital already used on Gemini. Gemini looking to pot away, and he is gonna be fine, and that is just such a clutch pot away. So that will at least make sure that Nox is going to be okay. Nox already with the Searing Light looking for a Dawnbringer. We'll be able to get it in the next few minutes into this game. And it's going to be a fully full formed Codex on the Parasite now. Level 2 already. That's going to be really scary. Level 3 in fact. Wow. Yeah. That's going to do extra damage. There's a lot of damage and that's kind of like the reason why... Uh, like nowadays you see Parasite just going for straight up early aggression and early damage, first damage. Oh, they get it denied by the way at the top lane. That's good for them. It, you know, just makes things even worse for Impunity Storm because they're losing out on extra gold that they could have obtained. Uh, Nox is just trying his best to do everything in his power to be able to do something for his team. He's actually go for the Dawnbringer, uh, like Inez mentioned earlier. He will have that very, very soon, I believe, because he already has that uh, Searing Light. And after he gets Dawnbringer, I'm very curious as to what his next item is going to be. Yep. And I'm curious as well, that being said, um, so far so good, 3 to 14, Team Hellborn, a lot of a good spot so far. And Legion team, they haven't addressed the Puppet Master, PM already about 4 0 and 1. That's gonna be really good for Team Tether Masters, man. Uh, so far, the Puppet Master pick just worked out really well for them. And if you look at Team Legion, it is not as if they don't have any synergy there, it's just that they don't have the ability to take a huge team fight yet. Nox needs more farm, and once Nox goes into farming mode, it's pretty much passive gaming for Team Legion. Yeah, it very is, uh, because like a huge part of the problem was the fact that Pestilence didn't get that, get that early snowball start, he, so he couldn't gank around the map, and um, like especially when you're running dual supports, you want to be as aggressive as possible, you know, utilize those supports to maximum potential, but the thing was, they were too busy 
Oh, top lane. Top lane. Gang on Parasite gonna happen quickly. The swamp's gonna be used as well. The Keg is gonna make sure that he is in a lot of trouble. And now he's gonna pick up the kill at the very least there. So it's good to see that as well. 4 is to 14. They are still 10 kills behind. And the kills is not a problem, but the PM is. And they haven't gotten rid of him yet. And so far, Nox is already pretty farmed up. And back to Nox, really. They're just waiting for him to have the Dom ring. He does have the gold to pick that one up right now, but he's not gonna offer that as well. He does have about 480 GPM. Whereas for PM, we're about 525. And that's gonna be really scary. Talking a little bit into the mid lane struggle there. You can see that X9Z already about 370 GPM, whereas for Emperor only about 200 GPM. So it is not looking good for Team Legion at all. Yeah, and like, even though there's that portal key up on Pestilence, he's just so far behind in terms of levels as compared to the Bubbles. They're even going to be able to take this tower. Uh, good attempt there by Bubbles to try to deny that. But yeah, Bubbles is very, very close to, well, not very close, but he's looking towards, uh, you know, getting his Cold Sheep stick already purchased that uh, Glowstone and Puppet Master, man, on top of Token and the Shrunken Life as well as Assassin Shroud, it's kind of difficult to kill him. And he's probably most just gonna, most probably just gonna hide behind the rest of his entire team and just, you know, deal as much damage as possible and utilize that, you know, the vo vo Voodoo Puppet whenever it's uh, off cooldown. Yep, and that is a little bit good to see from Team Help on side, but for Legion, man... I mean, Nox is definitely going to be able to just destroy in a way the Voodoo Puppet should he's splitting the Fire Knights. That's going to be really useful, but it seems like it is not going to be a Domringer yet, but a Shrunken Head, and that's going to be really good because Shrunken Head... I again have to remind all of you that Voodoo Puppet does magical damage, and that is not going to work against the Shrunken Head. So it's pretty good, and Nox actually opted to go for that kind of item just uh, straight up. It would definitely help him survive a lot more, but speaking of survival, he's in a little bit of trouble, and will be put to the test right now at the bottom lane because here comes a nicely, uh, well, sped up, Puppet Master, looking at that one as well, he does not even land a hit there because of the ability to just nicely speed away from Twin Fangs coming from Gemini, so at least that's gonna be a little bit of good news, but here comes Parasite for the kill, Nova, Nova, no trouble, and the Codex is gonna nicely burn him down there. That being said, man, Hooky Hook is gonna be able to pick up the kill. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about very, very early on in the game, like Parasite, just being Parasite, it's very difficult to deal with this hero because um, it has so much burst potential, especially since you're running two very, very squishy heroes, they're gonna go ahead and try to defend this top lane though. Yep, they're gonna fall all the way back home here. Uh, hold it up because he's gonna go with the Shadow Storm and that's gonna be able to just nicely burn away the creeps there. Uh, not really the most effective at all, but that being said, bottom lane, little bit extra stuff happening here. We got the tier 2 already addressed and here comes Presta to just try and spawn on Bastom. Bastom shouldn't be here, but Glacius is gonna pop the ass imprisonment and a lot of trouble it is, he is going down. That being said, Nox is gonna be able to pick up the tier 1, so it's not too shabby a form of exchange for Team Legion at least. Yeah, but the thing is like they, they lose a lot of the kills into their, you know, supports are already so far behind. It's just making things even worse for them. At least Nox does finish up that shrunken head first rather than the uh, Dawnbringer because he wanted to go for more of that farming potential with that searing light. I think his next item most probably is going to be that Dawnbringer since he's probably going to get that sometime soon. He already has 1.6k in the bank. He's going to even get a haste rune. He can actually look towards picking up a kill, which I think he can by all means. Here we go. Oh, there goes a little bit of stuff happening there, and it seems like Nox is about to pick up a kill on May, May, man. That's gonna be the support. The MOA going to have to take the fall there. It's gonna be okay. Gemini Hester, that's really good to see. And a flying lightning dog, that's what we all love to see as well. Nox definitely needs a little bit more extra item. He should be looking to bring next. Um, no doubt, because he already has the Searing Light and about 2k gold in the bank, Five and I would definitely stun. love to see that. That being said, Iron Nun, meanwhile, while well, sneaky Iron Nun, being able to pick up the kill on Emperor on the sidelines. That, again, is his credit. And the good thing about Iron Nun is that he is paying close attention to the players, or rather the heroes that makes a huge difference in his team here. So he is making sure that he addressed the mid lane because that is the only hero that he finds to you know be very important as, as compared to Nova, as compared to Bastion. Both, both of them are just support players. He wants to make sure that the mid is completely addressed. And that is Emperor for you, man. 0, 7 and one Yeah, I mean, because Emperor is like the main factor as well in their team. Like He has to have that huge initiation off so that the rest of his team can compile. Like You see an energy field on top of that. A keeper's brute to lock them down, and then a glacial downpour, and then you see Gemini in the background just doing his own thing. There's a lot of things that they require to actually be able to pull it off. And if um, any of the heroes actually, like if something like a Gemini or a Pestilence uh, or even a keeper goes down, it's gonna make the, the next team fight even much more harder. Yep, and that's gonna be the case because so far 5 is to 17 here, 11k gold lead for Team Hellborn. Turtle Masters, man, they are showing who's boss here uh, after a completely bad two rounds of, of cycle in cycle 2 and 3. Cycle 4, they are just coming back so strong here. And it's pretty good seeing Peter's not putting up a really good fight, but can they hold the forward? They definitely need all 5 members to be in complete uh, synergy there. And the question is, here comes the PM, PM looking for the killer on Puppet, there goes the show! And here comes also the Shrunken Head, it's gonna be really useful, but Lowstone does mix damage and that's a little bit questionable. And here comes Pestle 
Lucas land a bit of extra stun on Pierre, but Pierre also has shrunk it and that is not going to be effective at all. And here comes Parasite for the kill on the Pestilence. Pestilence definitely in a lot of trouble. Pestilence is going to have to take the fall. And that's going to be really sad to see because there is nothing you can really do. In that kind of a situation, you definitely would love to see Keeper there, but Keeper wasn't in the vicinity. He does have the root, but he didn't go in for the use there. A little bit sad to see that as well. Here comes the buyback from Nox. Nox looking for the kill on Parasite. Parasite definitely is going down. And that's going to be really good. A little bit of a side news there for you. And well, here comes a little bit of salvation onto Glacius. Glacius is probably going to be fine. And down goes the MOA. Mid on the flip side. Vian in a lot of trouble. Vian's going to land the root. That's going to be really helpful because there's no way he could nicely deal damage there from the PM. But PM will be at least able to pick up the kill. And here comes the bubbles. He'll be able to just nicely size up the Glacius. And a lot of trouble because Nox is not able to pick up the kill. He does have the Bow Knight. That's going to be a kill. But that's a token of life on the Puppet Master. And that again is at least a slight little relief for Team Legion. But you know, it is going to cost him a lot. Bubbles now, she has got a shell up and he is not going in the right direction. A little bit confused there, are we? Um, maybe see sickness, but uh, Bubbles is not able to spot Nox. And Nox is going to be fine, that's at least good news for him. Yeah, that was a really, really huge uh, team fight for, uh, well, not really team fight, but just huge pickoffs there coming from Iron Nun. He's a champion of New York already, by the way. He's just. He's not. He's not had a single death in this game. Six hundred gold per minute already. Nox, by possible. the way, forced to use buyback twice. twice so to so no more buybacks on him, and that's a huge statement. Uh, you know, displayed in the game. Like thirty minutes in, your Chimena doesn't have any buyback. You kill him once, they're going to lose the game because he he is practically that one core hero that is helping to win the team fights in the in the mid in this game and look at bottom lane and though. again look at that man pm struggling to pick up the kill here on pesty pesty didn't land an impale and that's gonna be really bad that's a 500 quid it's a huge slap to the face and emperor's gonna have to take that one because he is already dead and it's gonna be 9 one man emperor close to a double digit death you don't want to be in this kind of situation playing as a mid lane hero but he does at least have the portal key already addressed looking for a shrunken head, he's gonna need a shrunken head to make sure that he doesn't he does have the ability to stand up against the puppet master yeah and the thing is like a little bit misplay, uh, questionable decisions in my opinion by Emperor to actually, you know, use the du uh, not the dust, the swarm here, and then he missed his impale stun. And the thing is, he had no support in the background. You can't do that against the puppet master, even though he didn't have his, you know, shrunken it up. I think it was was it down? Yeah, I think it was down. He still had things like a, a uh, invisibility to, you know, get the mobility. Yes, you can still see him, but he has the invisibility for mobility. He has like two instant lockdowns of a puppeteer's hold and puppet show and. Yeah, you can't really, you know, decide to go in like that. And you see even Bubbles as a culture sheep sticker already. It's so, so difficult for a Legion team right now. They're just so far behind. It's 8, it's 22 by the way. Yeah, I have to say this double damage on Puppet Master, man. Uh, just nicely expired there. And here comes the Minotaur. A little bit questionable, but at least the Swiftness Aura is going to help him move a little bit faster, I do believe. Let me just check the one out there. Oh, sorry, I checked a little bit faster. But here comes Pasty with the Swamp already used on PM. But there goes the Cold Dry, and this is not going to be a good spot for him to be. And here comes Nux. Nux is going to be able to do a little bit of a showdown against the PM. Looking for the kill on Bubbles. Bubbles, no trouble there. But look at the crit. 600 crit. It's going to just nicely smack on Nox. Nox is going to have to turn tails and run away. But Bubbles, no trouble. Bubbles is going to take the fall. Even the Roots going to be used. Energy fuel as well. PM still alive. Life. And there goes the puppet hole. It is not gonna be a spot out of PM, but that's gonna be okay. And the dust gonna be used here. But Pest is gonna have to take the fall, and even Glacier is in a lot of trouble. Glacier is now looking right away. Ice imprisonment already used on PM. PM now, but just nicely catch up there. But Lodestone is not able to pick up the kill by himself. And that's gonna be really regrettable. And here comes Nox version 2, ladies and gentlemen. But still not gonna be able to just jump on them. And it, that's gonna be a little bit nice to see. That's gonna be used, and no, oh my god, VN, he doesn't wanna be here, but he doesn't have a choice. And he goes down. That is gonna be a complete wipe from Team Legion's side, except for Glacier and Gemini. So three men down already. Two more to go. And can the two of them defend them against uh, defend the entire bottom lane against four pushers here? It's gonna be really bad to see that as well. Um, look at the amount of damage, man. 563 damage, and even the codex is gonna be nicely used to make sure the best time gets mopped up. The Legion don't want to be in this spot right now, but they don't have a thing they could really do. No one's gonna respawn, but it's Nova enough with now make a huge team fight here. I don't think so. There is no energy fuel. And Nox, man, he's just dancing behind because there's nothing he could really do, even uh, PM already has got a Jumanis Bane and the Illusion doing a lot of extra work there. Parasite now gonna get ganked upon and here comes the Pesty stun as well. Parasite gonna take the fall but at the cost of Pestilence and Pestilence is gonna take the fall as well. Shrugging at the knocks against PM. PM having a little bit of a slight, uh, well, advantage there because of the Whiplash skill and that's gonna help him a lot. And in general now range back is gonna be the only thing that's standing in the bottom lane here. You don't wanna give this up as well but there again is nothing Team Legion could really do. Pestilence is gonna respawn about 30 seconds time. And that's going to be a long time for them. And that being said, Rinse Rex going down. That's going to be one lane wrecked already. Legion team is in a lot of trouble right now. Yeah, man. Legion team. I don't know about that. A uh, couple of team fights and engagements. It's just 
It just goes back to the fact that they didn't get snowball advantage, not enough farm on themselves. There is that soul war, soul's bulwark, by the way, uh, on Keeper of the Forest, but it's not enough in this early, early stage of this game. You see even Gemini is going to go for a, a behemoth heart, if I'm not mistaken. That will help in terms of his uh, armor reduction, or well, not armor reduction, but uh, armor penetration, which is pretty good, but I think that uh, he still needs a little bit more damage. I'm actually surprised he didn't finish the Dawnbringer. That would have been probably the better choice to just lock them down really, really quickly and not have the ability to kite and... I don't know man, it's just looking really, really difficult for our Legion team right now. Helbert has all the items they need. There's even 4k gold up, uh, saved up already on uh, Puppet Master. Yeah, but that's the case. I mean, look at that, man. Um, Fire and Ice on Gemini, not having the best of moments so far, but look at that. It's gonna be 2k health on the Ice and Fire, and at least that's gonna be a little bit more techy, but with the Axel Melfi in the bank already, looking for a Beastman Heart, that's gonna help him a lot in terms of survivability, and we wanna see a Gemini um, survive very long, but here comes Glacius, and even Ice Imprisonment gonna be used quickly! No, it's not gonna be in time. Bubbles will be able to just nicely pot away. Glacius still in hot pursuit. Is he gonna be able to land Ice Imprisonment? That's the question. I do believe that that's gonna be a possibility, but here comes the stun from Pasty. Pasty is gonna be able to do a lot of work there, but there goes the Glacier downpour, but doesn't deal too much of a damage. Bubbles is gonna be fine, and here comes the MOA support as well. They are gonna be able to just nicely back away. That's gonna be used preventively, so at least there is no PM gang, but PM is just nicely addressing Kongor by himself, and they don't know this. You know why? Because there is no ward of sight. Yep, no wars, no word of sight at all, and that's an abyss, no abyssal, sorry, uh, that's a demonic, eh, not demonic, fuck is it called, uh, Simple Rage, yeah, Simple Rage already completed by, uh, Puppet Master, it's gonna be, you're not gonna be killing him, no way in hell you're gonna be killing him, even if you expend every single, you know, spell that you have on him, he's gonna come back to life with that, uh, token, you're gonna have wasted all your ultimates, you're gonna die because the rest of his teammates is gonna compile to you, I'm interested, yep, it's gonna be the portal key, uh, Parasite does pick up the portal key already on top of the level 5 codex and blood chalice, so man, it's just looking very, very grim for Infinity Storm. Yep, they are in 36 minutes up almost. We're looking at 10 is to 27. Hellbound team in a pretty good spot. They have consolidated their position, looking to be really good. Even took on a life, the second one already up on Iron Nun, and that's going to be a lot harder to kill the PM. PM, do note, he has pretty tanky of a health point there 2.4k, and that's because of the symbol of rage and the shrunken net. And in general, that's not going to be Papa Master you want to face so far. 570 crit there every four hits. It is going to be so insane. Yep, and uh, Gemini has the. Uh, Dawnbringer completed already, there is a bound eye up an engineer and uh, he's probably looking for that uh, tablet of command. Usually we see games where Nova is able to actually pick up on something like a portal key but there's really no way that he can actually uh, get that up anytime soon and um, you see Iron Nun just taking towers by himself, his, the rest of his team is here actually by the way. They're gonna try to take, the, they're gonna trade actually the tier 2 the mid, which they're gonna get, but there is no way they're gonna defend this top lane. There is even Bubbles buying the Sacrificial Stone, so that uh, they won't take as much damage, and it's actually a really really good item, especially against something like a Pestilence. Yep it is, and that's it, Thetamaster is now on the help on side, still dealing, out, dealing a lot of extra damage, tier 3 at the top lane, little bit of trouble here, we have the PM knocking on it. Tower gonna be used, is it gonna be effective? I doubt so. And even the Bounai already on Engineer, looking to deal a little bit of extra damage, but Pasty goes in for a nice time, but he gets Coldra, that's not gonna be worth it, man, and Emperor needs to get out of there, but here comes Nox, with a nice time on PM, PM actually a little trouble, but he does have the total of life, and it seems like it is set to just nicely go down there, and he will come back to life again. VN there is going to land a nice root. Root's going to be used, but here goes Lowstone. Lowstone will definitely go down, and that's going to be the case so far. Hell wants to just go four members there, I do believe. Uh, four of them are still alive and looking to just knock on a tier 3. A tier 3 taking a lot of beating, but here comes Nox for a second round here against PM. PM is going to get complete lockdown from Mopai and Ice, and it seems sad there, but a symbol of rage dealing on extra work, and PM still alive, but PM looking to go down. Nox is in trouble. Now Nox is still alive, and Nox, man, is just nicely going to be able to just save himself. The VN did buy back, I do believe. No, he didn't buy back. He was alive the whole time, and that's going to be really good coming from Team Legion. So only Nox expended all the buybacks so far, and no more buybacks for Nox. That's going to be really big. 7 2 and 4, man. No, the thing is, Nox didn't die in that team fight. Uh, those buybacks were already uh, expelled yeah, earlier before, on. Yeah, a long time ago. That's right. Yeah, and um, I have to say that was actually a decent team fight for Legion team because they got three heroes killed on the Hellburn. Well, essentially four, I guess you could say, because of the extra token of life on Puppet Master. And um, had Puppet Master died in the engagement without the token, they wouldn't have been able to destroy that. Uh, you know, the base tower over there, and they would have been able to defend that very, very successfully. But yeah, I mean, Turtle Master is just doing a really, really good job so far. I would actually like them 
would like to see them, you know, quickly push down the top lane again and destroy the Rax. They know that Root is down. He doesn't have anything like a Restoration Stone, but uh, I don't think they're going to be able to push because uh, their main core hero, Puppet Master, is down Let's for another 62 seconds. Yep, that's going to be the case. And there goes the ready, and both sides going to be up again for a resume here. And looking at that, 20k goal lead for Team Hellborn. Looking to be so good. Legion side. Decent fight for sure, and Domingo already completed on Gemini. Gemini, man, was able to just nicely pick up the kill there on Puppet. And this is the thing about Gemini. You have almost three stuns. That's going to be really big. One Twin Fang, one from Fire, one from Ice. That's going to be really a lot of extra burst and lockdown on the PM. And specific targeted lockdown. So PM, man, he needs at least something to make sure that he stays alive. And in general, he doesn't have that item just yet. So 2.5k health there, but still not tanky enough. He does have a lot of extra health, but do not in the previous engagement. He was the one standing up and manning up, but the rest of his team was just hiding behind. Oh god. Oh my god, this is gonna be... May actually gonna get completely decimated by Nox. And Nox is just biting him again. That was so quick. Did you see the, how fucking fast he died? That was insane. And that's just the power of uh, level 16 Gemini with that fire and ice ability. Like, yeah, as soon as you quickly. Like, he, he actually pulled off the combo really quickly. He just twin fangs, used the breath. I think he didn't even use the breath. He just twin fangs, quickly split up, and then used the, you know, the, the, the double skills over there. Top lane, don't. Top lane, VN a lot of trouble. VN don't want to die here, but he definitely is sad to go down. He does a 3k goal, so buyback is going to be possible. Should help him be a little bit too obnoxious to try and force this top lane push. They are looking at that, however, and that's should be the case, um, but there's still no PM in this vicinity, so they are going to take a little bit of extra time to make sure that they get at the top lane. And they may not, there may not be a buyback on VN still, but here comes the mid lane. Puppet's going to address Nox straight up there, and it seems like the show's going to be on the road, and the hole's going to be used as well. But Gemini is going to be okay because he does have shrunk on it, and he's going to waste one charge there. PM nicely going to be able to just go back into Shroud there because he already has got Genjuro, and that's dealing additional damage. Wow, Genjuro, man. Yeah, and he's going to have the ability to, you know. Go in, use a charge to slow you down, and go in again and use another charge. He's gonna get two burst, burst damage outputs, and just pick up the. Yeah, okay, he does pick it up already. The heart is gonna help out a lot for uh, Gemini. He's already, you know, biting through the this puppet master because of that. You know, the the way that his uh, elemental fangs work, or whatever it's called, elemental force. Sorry, and I think he should probably sell up boots and get wing bow so that he can have the ability to just do a lot of damage. He need just get as much items as possible, like six slotted. No boots, it's more than enough for uh, Gemini just because of the way his uh, elemental force works. I think he's gonna go for an invisibility next, which I think is. Uh, I think it's okay, but I would definitely prefer that wing bow because there is no, uh, you know, auto attack added. I mean, like, there is no, you know, uh, what is it, Savage Mace up on uh, this uh, Puppet Master just yet. Yep, and Gemini Elemental Force reached 2 Agility, Grand Swerve Movement Speed, so he definitely will have a little bit of benefit coming into the Wing Bow and dropping the boots there. But that being said, it's going to take him a lot of extra farm, and he doesn't have the space to farm there right now. 19k goal lead for Team Hellborn. Hellborn's just bearing down at Team Legion's top lane here. Can they pull up a nice defense? That's the question. There is no Water of Red. That's good. That could be a little bit of a big mistake there. A little bit of extra crit damage coming from PM. PM just knocking on the melee barracks. Melee barracks may actually be in a lot of trouble here. Gemini is still not going in yet. They are a little bit of a questionable spot. They definitely need a Water of Red here. They should realize that right about now. But nope, it's gonna be just the usual water of sight with a bow knight. That is still gonna be a little bit more effective, but Nova is playing very safe right now. And that is um, the problem in general because if he is behind, he cannot spot a PM uh, on slot here. And do not PM doesn't have a token of life, so if the fight goes down here and if he dies, that's gonna be it for him. Yeah, it is. And But the thing is, I think it's still working in favor for Hellburn because they're just waiting for the Dream Eater's Bane to be off cooldown, utilizing that and then uh, again using it, his illusions to just attack the melee racks. And if you look at the way they're trying to kill him, I mean the illusions, they're actually killing him really really slowly even despite not having like something like a behemoth sort to make the illusions even much more tankier. But uh, yeah, I mean just Hellburn team as a whole, just the way that they work is if they overextend a little bit too much and like they spend too much resources on killing illusions, you're gonna see it jump in from Bubbles and the slow stone. And Bubbles has that uh, culture sheep stick as well. Here we go again. There we go, again here comes the good two friends from the separate wall, that's the illusion, and here comes the real deal, PM gonna be able to just land and miss that, oh, he's gonna be so sad. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but yeah, I mean, they're actually investing a lot of time just trying to defend this top side, as you can see, mid and bottom is already being pushed. If uh, Helper is a little bit smart, they could actually send someone mid and help to push out the lane a little bit more, and then quickly converge back to this uh, top lane. I think something like even a Parasite would be good for that. Uh, but uh, maybe, sorry, not Parasite, uh, something okay. No, Puppet Master, just go down there, push that lane really quickly, then come back up again. There we go. 29 to 13, still 20k goal lead. Mid lane, a little bit pushed out, and Gemini is gonna have to force himself here, and this could be a little bit of a gank. 
But nope, actually, Parasite is going to swing by and say hello, going to the Hell Cannon, that's going to be a little bit okay. That being said, top lane still a lot of increased pressure here. Mid lane, uh, well, half the creeps are already gone, but the four creeps, the four range creeps, sorry, are still doing a little bit of extra work in terms of push. And Gemini is going to be able to just nicely mop them up there, that's going to be really good. At the top lane though, here comes the engagement, Emperor going to jump in again by himself, and then after that, nicely try and run away. PM Illusion is going to be the only thing that is just standing here to make a little bit of a difference and even the melee brag is being knocked out because of that. We have seen this happen a lot of times, really. And it is just so obnoxious. Uh, we've seen this happen on S2Y, MRR and now even on Turtle Masters. These Thai teams, man, they just love to use Illusion to do the work and that's really bad. That's Illusion Abusion. We're going to have to use <laughs> a new law and act to make sure that this doesn't happen again. Illusion... Uh, uh, what? What did you say again? Illusion, illusion what? abuse. There, really. Yeah, illusion abuse. Yeah, yeah, it's like rock, but hold that top because top lane Nox, you don't want to be here. Now a little bit of extra gang effort coming in. Bubbles uh -oh. gonna come in with the quarter shift. This is gonna be bad. Nox, a little trouble. Nox with no buyback. Shrunken is gonna be used. And Emperor gonna jump in to try and sacrifice there to just to make sure that Nox is gonna be okay. Nox taking a little bit of a questionable route, but he is going to be safe. And Emperor man. Manning it up to just make sure that his teammate is going to be fine. He does have a buyback, so that's the main reason, man. He has nicely decided that should he be needed, uh, he can definitely buy back again. I still think that was a really unnecessary jump in because Gemini was already fine. He actually just killed himself for no reason because the Trunkinet was already popped by Gemini. He would have survived. He has a lot of HP. That's the reason why you have that. Oh, sorry. He doesn't have the Trunken Head now, but I think if he if they're able to get the jump rather than getting jumped on, they can do really, really well. The cannon, there goes the uh, game illusion again, illusion abuse happening. Um, well, now it seems like mid lane is uh, without a tier 3, and that is going to be pretty obvious here. Only the million is going to be standing there, and Parasite nicely going to hang Hell Cannon because he knows that that unit deals a little bit extra damage in buildings. Yep, it's very effective. Uh, so far, so good. 44 minutes in already, 13 is to 30 here, and things are just not looking as good as the, you want it to be from Imperial Storm's side. Uh, the top lane already wrecked out there, only the range barracks left. It's gonna provide a little bit extra pressure on the top lane, you don't want to have the pressure against you. But here goes Emperor, jumping in again by himself, and BN's gonna land in nicely with a nice root, maybe, but still not using it, and there goes the root! Is it gonna be a little bit too late? That's the question, no, Pestilence gonna take the fall, VN also being addressed, VN there doing a lot of uh, trouble himself, but he definitely is gonna pay the price. And there goes the Shadowstorm as well, VN uh, already dead, and now Nox behind just doing a little bit one-on-one -on -one against the PMM, they're just biting us, still fighting there, and it seems like the Twin Fangs gonna be used, Nox gonna try and run away, but there goes the start, and it's gonna be done, because there <laughs> goes Nox, and Nox down without a buyback, VN I'm gonna call it GG here, and Legion side already done with this game. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna win 100% GG over there. Um, just again, very questionable buy buybacks coming up from Nox very, very early on to the game, especially at the bottom lane during the tier two tower where they weren't even like even having a buyback. It was not gonna be as necessary to actually do anything uh, over there. So just. I don't know, it's really questionable. Plus the fact that man Emperor just didn't have a good game at all. 0 14 and 3, man, that's pretty sad to see. Yep, just gonna go through the stats right now. Look at that. 600 GPM already on the PM, 500 on Nox only. Nox definitely try his best in this game, but look at Emperor's ending stats. Yeah, 0 14 and 3. It's not what you wanna have playing as the mid laner. And again, Turtle Masters, man, huge congratulations to, to them. They definitely deserve this win here against Imperial Storm by Imperial Storm. They need to go back to the drawing board to make sure what the hell just happened there. Well, what happened was that basically Turtle Masters, they utilized most of the heroes to the early game advantage. Parasite did a really good job because he was rotating uh, across the map really, really uh, fast. You see he's 10, 4, and 9, so he's been you know doing a lot for his team. And I don't know, as a whole, like even Bubbles winning mid was a huge... Uh, which was probably the biggest factor as well that helped out a lot towards the success of Turtle Masters winning this game. Yeah, but that's the case. That being said, it's pretty good to see this game here from both sides and it's definitely going to Turtle Masters, man. So game 2 going to be up real soon. We hope you guys will be able to enjoy that one as well. Do stay tuned because we will be back with more action in just about a few moments here. So do stay tuned and just hang around, man. See you guys soon.